it wouldn't allow me to download it with the transparent background. Hey guys, what's up? How's it going? I'm doing pretty good. Thanks for asking. Right now I am getting ready for my day. I decided to include my daily routine to try and be cool like most vloggers do. But then I realized, what do I say while I'm getting ready? Normally I just listen to music and watch videos. So I decided to film a voiceover for this part. And then I was like, what the heck am I going to say? So here I am braiding my hair and now I am painting on my eyebrows like I do every single day even if I don't do any other makeup this is a must have. I used to use the Anastasia brow dip but I found a cheaper alternative by Maybelline. I think it's the brow dip. Anyways it works really well. So since I am filming a video today, I decided to be fancy and put on a little lip gloss. This is by e.l.f. and it is a lip plumper. It kind of stings a little bit, but I like it. Now I am curling my eyelashes and then I will be using the Maybelline Falsies something or another. I really like it, except for it's kind of scary because it's got these fibers in it that make your eyelashes look longer, but I'm really scared to get them in my eye one day, so I don't know if I recommend that. Once I have my eyelashes, eyebrows, and lips done, I moisturize my face and we're ready to go to get on with our day. Hey guys, thank you so much for watching this video. I really appreciate it. This is going to be my first vlog type video, so please let me know what you think and if you'd like more videos like this in the future. If you haven't seen me before, my name is Ash Marie, and I'm getting ready to launch my very first candle business and that will be in five days on February 20th. I have my own website and Etsy shop ready to go. I am just going to be getting ready for my launch date, printing out some labels, getting some things together. If you're interested in starting your own business, I already have a video that I've made on how to start your own business online, so be sure to check that out, and I'll link that below in the description box as well. Be sure to give this video a thumbs up below. I make videos here on YouTube for entrepreneurs, anyone that wants to start their own business. I give tips on how to manage your business. And I will be documenting my personal process and progress within my business and sharing my struggles and tips to overcome those struggles along the way. So if you're interested in that, be sure to subscribe. I can't wait to show you guys and grow with you guys throughout the process. And if you are interested in candles, I will be doing a pre-launch. So go ahead and Check out my website, sign up to my newsletter if you're interested so you, so you can get a discount for my pre-launch and early access before my website even goes live. So yeah, I'm so excited about that. Okay guys, I don't know if you can see this very well. I'm using a dinosaur computer, guys, so please ignore if it is slow. Um, but I just wanted to quickly get on here and show you how I do my labels. So this is Canva. I have the monthly subscription, which isn't that much, I don't believe. Um, but these are my labels that I have designed for my wax melts. And I have them three and a half, three inches by three and three quarters for each of my scents i gotta print those out and i need to get them on this big sheet here so that i can print them out all on one sheet instead of doing them one by one because that would take forever and waste so much of my expensive sticker paper I'm still waiting on the glossy paper to come in, but I do have a couple orders for my friends here locally that I need to go ahead and put some labels on. So we're gonna use what I have. 
they're actually meant to be shipping labels, so that's why they are matte. And like whenever they print out, it doesn't do it too bad, but the ink kind of runs a little bit. So I have my laptop right here and my printer. I just have this laser printer, regular printer that my mom gave me a while back when I was going to college. And I just used that and it just prints black and white on my labels. So I'll go ahead and do that and then we'll cut them on my cutting board right here. I'll show you. I kind of wish I got one that didn't have the slide cutters because this, how it works is you just press this down and it cuts it while it slides. I hate that. I, I kind of wish I got one where it had the bar and it cuts across because I feel like it would cut them a lot straighter. This is kind of hard to do small pieces because you have to line it up right here and then it doesn't get a straight cut. And it's really annoying and I've kind of wasted a few labels so that's why I'm trying again with these ones with like the thicker lines in between each label before I just had like the border of the labels on there and not the lines for cutting and it didn't go that well so we're gonna try this again and I'll show you guys the cutting because I think it's satisfying so the main reason that I decided to get the level up option besides the free option on Canva was because whenever I wanted to try and download something it wouldn't allow me to download it with the transparent background and that's very important otherwise you get kind of like a gray cast on your white printer paper or label paper so that's just something to think about if you guys plan to just use the free version it just doesn't allow you to do the transparent backgrounds how do you take it apart i don't know i'm not a pen expert I hate this cutter. I want to get a cutter with a bar. Yeah, like the it still works. You just have to push it harder. Are you trying to be in my video? With your cooking pen? <laughs> I'm totally leaving that in there. They're going to hear all of us. No, I'm sorry guys. She didn't warn me that she was videoing at the exact moment I was trying to fix her pin. That is not my hand. Oh, I don't even have the mic in. I can get the satisfying sound. Hey guys, I hope that this angle is okay. I'm sitting here and I've spent the last three minutes trying to set up the angle for my tripod and my camera. So bear with me if it's not, I'm really sorry about that. But I got a couple packages here that I'm gonna open and I'm pretty sure they're for my candle business and I'm getting ready to launch. I'm really excited. So I almost couldn't wait to open it and I thought for a second and I was like, no. You're gonna have to go grab your camera and start filming. You're a YouTuber now, you gotta film everything. So, hope you guys enjoy this unboxing of my candle supplies. They put the name of my business. That's so exciting. It's the first time I've had anything sent in my business name, which is Nature Vibe Gifts, if you didn't know. So I got some of my fragrances for launch day. I honestly didn't know exactly how much I should buy. I didn't know how many sales I would get right off the bat. So I got enough to make about 30 candles for my first launch day. And then after that, when I get about halfway through, I'll probably order some more supplies. But it didn't take that long to get here. It honestly only took a few days and I got my supplies from Lone Star, Lone Star Candle Supply which is in Texas, not that far away from us. So I figured that the shipping prices would be cheaper and they weren't that bad. And I got here pretty quickly. So I got um, 10 pounds 
for my first launch. I hope this is enough. I think it will be enough. I'm not sure how many cells we'll start getting, but next time I might get a bigger bag. So we got wax, we got fragrances. I'm hoping this is my tins. These are hemp wicks that I ordered for my soy wax candles. I'm really excited and I hope that these work out. If not, I do have a backup wick that I plan to use for my candles. So stay tuned for that update. All of these supplies I got on Amazon. These are the clam shells for my wax cubes for the scentsies or wax melters. So I'm gonna sell a couple scents of these and then some four different scents of candles. Oh <gasps> Ash, you have to be careful. This is your new business products can't drop them upside down. That, that didn't happen. You guys didn't see that. <clears throat> this is so exciting. Okay. <laughs> I got uh, my tins off of Amazon for my first round and then I plan to order them from Alibaba after that, but I found the same candle tins that I can use. Um, this is kind of weird. I don't know if you guys can see that, but it says, thank you, you make me want to be a better person. Thank you for everything. I'm not sure if they're wanting me to use these for my packaging, but I won't be using those. I'm so excited. I love these. I like these a lot better than the silver ones that I had previously. And on the inside, they're gold, which I love. I think that's such a vibe. They also gave me some free little wick stickers, which is nice. I normally just use hot glue to put my wicks down because I feel like it's easy and I already have a hot glue gun and it stays down pretty easily. And then once you're done and the candle melts all the way, you can just peel it off. I'm not sure how these tabs are when you get down to the bottom and you go to take it out, how easy they are to remove. So I'll have to try those out, do some more candle testing before I launch. So I got 24 tins for my launch date and these also didn't take very long to get here. So if I need more, I can just go ahead and order some more off of Amazon or go ahead and place an order on Alibaba for a hundred tins. I'm not sure how much I was gonna sell at first. So I didn't wanna buy a hundred tins and only get 30 sales in the next few months. But next time I order, I will probably order bulk just to save money per candle and increase the profit margin. I will say if you plan on starting a candle company or your own online business, I didn't realize how much it actually costs for packaging and how much it costs to ship items from where you are to your customers, how much it costs to ship your items to you that you need for your supplies. It's just a lot more than I thought. But now I kind of understand why candles are more expensive. But yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this little unboxing haul of my fragrances and my candle wax. I tried some of these smaller fragrances in a different company and I figured that they would be the same. So I figured I would just order the larger size from this company that I found that is cheaper than what I was originally planning on using. And the smell is slightly different than the other one, but I kind of like it better. It's kind of more earthy. That didn't make any sense. Why am I reviewing fragrances right now? Oh Lord. I thought I ordered lemongrass 
Oh shit, I've got that on my hands. Be right back. <sighs> Let me just gather myself real quick. I just went to go wash my hand off and I forgot that the faucet bathroom is very strong and when you barely turn it on it just it's like a fucking shower in your sink and it just surprised me that's all okay oh the rose smells amazing i want to take a bath in this <gasps> i hope y'all saw that <laughs> yep smells like lavender feel about this but I wanted to make a candle for all of my 420 friends for a gift and I decided to order this the scent right here and kind of worried about how it smells. I haven't tried this one before so I'm really hoping it smells good. Oh. Interesting. Gonna have to see what everyone else thinks about this one before I decide to launch this fragrance. I like the smell of it, but it does not smell like what it says it smells like, which it says it smells like cannabis and exotic hemp, and it's not what it smells like. But I guess if you were to just go up and smell the plants, it smells like plants in a good way, like earthy. I like it. <laughs> I hope you guys still want to buy my candles after that scent review. I'm sorry if that was really weird. I might not even put that in the video. That might be a bloopers section. I'm trying to lay out all my supplies to take a good photo for the thumbnail. So whenever I was testing my candles, I tried cotton, cotton wicks and I really liked them and I figured I would go with them. But since I offered my cannabis candle, I wanted to t test these out and see if I like them. These are wicks made out of hemp and they're coated in the wax already. Where do you start? Oh Lord, where is the beginning? Where does it start? Just cut somewhere and... and Hope that it works out. What do what do you do? Okay, well let's go with the outside one. Hi, I found it. I don't know if you guys can see. But it's this last little string right here and it's just tucked under. <laughs> Glad I found that. Hmm. Honestly, it seems just like a regular wick. Seems like a cotton wick, it's just darker in color and it's not as straight as the pre-tabbed wicks are, which that's that's known when you buy wicks that aren't pre-tabbed like this. They're not gonna be straight, so you have to use something to hold the wick up as you pour the wax. The only thing I'm waiting for to come in is my boxes and my mailers. I already have labels and things to make business cards and my candle care cards. I'm just going to make them myself and print out stickers to put on my own packaging. And I have labels for these tins, little white labels that will look really good on these matte black metal tins. And I believe these ones are eight ounces, but my candle wax that will fill it is gonna be about seven ounces with my crystals in there, which makes it a little heavier. So I think originally the fill weight's around like six and a half ounces. Don't quote me on that because I don't have it written down in front of me at the moment. I'm just trying to remember off the top of my head from when we did candle testing and we tried lots of different sizes of tins and containers. Do you guys want to watch me take thumbnail pictures? <laughs> this is an entrepreneur vlog, otherwise I probably wouldn't do this in every video. I don't know, you guys let me know if you like that.
Thank you so much for watching me unbox these candle supplies. I hope you have a wonderful day. And if you plan on opening a business, go ahead and leave it in the comment below. I would love to check it out and support you. I will also link any of the websites or businesses that I've mentioned in this video in the description box below. This video was filmed uh, My trash just fell over guys, this is real Oh, Are there any other YouTubers out there that are this real? I don't know, I mean I'm literally filming on my floor trying to <laughs> get it together so I can print labels for my business. This video was filmed, this vlog was filmed in a couple days. I tried to wear the same shirt to sh make it seem like it was all on the same day, but you can clearly see my hairs, like I washed my hair. <laughs> um, that's all, that's all.